Hello and welcome. This is Kathleen Levito, Marketing Coordinator with AFMA, the American Armed Forces Mutual Aid Association. Thank you for attending today's webinar on refinancing. This monthly webinar is brought to you by AFMA Mortgage Services, LLC, also known as AMS, which provides mortgages exclusively to the military community. Whether you're looking to build, buy, or refinance a home, we can help you. So our presenter today is Corey Riggs, a military mortgage advisor with AMS. And without further ado, I'll turn it over to Corey to go over the agenda. Great, thank you, Kathleen. Hello everyone, my name is uh, Corey Riggs. Glad to be with you today. And I uh, just wanted to touch first on our agenda this morning. Um, we are gonna first look at uh, some reasons to refinance, uh, kind of give a general uh, breakdown of reasons that someone would even wanna consider refinancing. Um, then we're gonna move on kind of to what, what's the meat of the presentation, which is three refinances that make sense and you see we have the sense in the financial sense we want to make sure it makes financial sense for you uh, to refinance and so we're going to be looking at three uh, specific scenarios first is the lower your monthly mortgage payment scenario which is probably the most popular um, secondly is the build equity fast scenario so if you want to build equity faster in your home and then the third scenario is is uh, cash out Getting, getting cash out above and beyond your mortgage in order to pay off other debts that you may have. And then we'll look at some next steps if you decide that refinancing is something you either A, want to pursue, or B, something that you'd like to uh, discuss further. Be happy to answer any questions uh, in that regard. So let's start. What is a mortgage refinancing? Well, refinancing is just simply uh, replacing your current mortgage with a new one. And there are different reasons why somebody might want to do that. Uh, first is uh, to, again, to reduce your monthly payments with a lower interest rate. We'll actually look at that scenario today. Uh, secondly would be to pay off your mortgage quicker by shortening the term of your loan. So that would be like going from a 30-year fixed loan to a 15-year fixed. And again, we'll look at that scenario today. Uh, the third scenario would be for, for switching from uh, an adjustable rate mortgage to a fixed rate mortgage. And so there are some folks, and maybe you're one of those folks that have an adjustable rate mortgage, which means that um, your interest rate can go up or down um, and you want to, to get more uh, stability. And so you would refinance into a fixed rate mortgage, whether that be a 15 or a 30 year. Uh, Fourth is the uh, get money out of your home in order to do home improvements, maybe a major purchase that you're considering or some debt consolidation. We will look specifically at that debt consolidation piece today. Um, then next one is to obtain a better interest rate uh, as your credit may have improved since your last mortgage. Uh, maybe you know this, maybe you don't, but interest rates are based on, uh, typically based on your credit score. And so if you have a lower interest rate, or a lower credit score, you're going to get a higher interest rate. And if you have a higher credit score, you'll get a lower interest rate. And so somebody may have refinanced their home uh, when their credit wasn't um, as good as it is now. And now they want to refinance in order to take advantage of the lower interest rates. Uh, next one is to eliminate private mortgage insurance. There are folks who maybe have a conventional loan that they didn't put 20% uh, down payment on that home and they have to pay something called a private mortgage insurance which is a monthly kind of a more monthly mortgage insurance uh, insurance premium that they pay within their mortgage payment um, and they want to refinance in order to get rid of that because now they have more than 20 percent equity in their home and then the next one is add or remove someone from your existing mortgage and so uh, if you have someone uh, various life circumstances may move you to add or remove someone from your existing uh, mortgage. So those are the kind of the general reasons why somebody would want to consider to refinance, but let's let's kind of dive down and look at three specific scenarios. So here are three refinances that make sense. Uh, first, we're going to look at the lower your monthly payment scenario. Next, we'll do the build equity fast and then, of course, the cash out to pay off other debts. So let's start with that lower your monthly payment scenario. 
what I'm going to would like to show you today is on on the left side of the screen you're going to see an example of a current mortgage that someone has um, and on the right side of the screen will be uh, a, a proposed refinance for for this particular uh, person and that has the mortgage on the left side of the screen and so um, what I'd like to do is run through this with a little bit of detail. We are going to be using this current mortgage that's on the left side of the screen on the slides that are ahead. So I'm not going to go over this every single time, but I want you to see that um, the original loan amount, somebody took out a mortgage and in January of 2018, um, they took out that mortgage for $275,000 at an interest rate of 3.875%. Um, for a 30-year fixed, which is 360 months. Uh, their monthly principal and interest payment, uh, which does not include taxes and insurance, is $1,293.15. Their loan balance, uh, as of today, we're in September 2020, if they were to have made their uh, minimum payment for, uh, for the entire time since January 2018, their loan balance as of September 2020 would be $260,916.31. Well, this person decides, I, I want to figure out if refinancing makes sense for me. And so they, they contact someone and they find out that, yes, you know, they can get a, a much lower interest rate based on where interest rates are today. Interest rates are at historic lows, and that is not a sales pitch. That is a fact. Um, and they would, they look and they say, okay, I, I, let me just investigate this. Does this make sense for me? Am I going to be able to save a significant amount of money on my monthly payment? And so if you'll look on your right side of the screen, you'll see that, that the refinance loan amount is $266,000. Um, and that is including we're, 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 we're increasing it, uh, their, what they actually owe to 266,000 because that's including closing costs. Of course, closing costs are, are going to be different depending on uh, what state you uh, your, your property is in. Uh, but let's just give a, a, a general um, five thousand dollars in closing costs just for for the scenario that we're looking at today. Um, interest rate at two point three seven five percent. There are folks, depending on the state that you live in, there are folks that are getting interest rates right now on VA mortgages specifically at two point three seven five to two point two five percent. Uh, that's folks with excellent credit, um, and you're go refinancing into a 30-year mortgage. You know your principal and interest payment would be $1,033.82. That would be a, a monthly savings of $259.33. And so if, if your goal was just, I want to just get my mortgage payment lower every month, uh, this scenario may be a good scenario for you because if this was you, you would be saving $259.33 a month. Let's go to the next slide, which is uh, building equity faster. And first scenario I'd like to show you how you can build equity faster with is, is a shorter term on your mortgage. Again, the left side of the screen is, is uh, the same scenario that we looked at on the previous screen. Um, same principal and interest payment every month. But what I'd like you to see on the left side of the screen when it, when it says loan balance in September 2020, that's the same loan balance as we looked at before. But then I want you to see the loan balance if you continue to make that $1,293.15 mortgage payment every single month, where you would be in five years, 10 years, and 15 years. Uh, in five years, in September 2025, your loan balance would be that 231, 135. Uh, and your loan balance in 10 years, uh, which would be September 2030, would be 194,999.58. Your loan balance in, in uh, 15 years, which would be seven, September 2035, would be 151,151.47. And then your loan, if you continue to make that minimal payment uh, from January 2018, you would have that loan pay off, paid off in December 2047. But you decide, I want to see what it would look like. How can, if, can I really build that much equity? How fast can I build equity in my home if I were to refinance into a shorter term? So I want to look at a 15-year fixed. And so 
again, you, you refinance your, your, the loan, you're considering refinancing it, your uh, loan, loan, loan amount is the same. Uh, we're including closing costs in that, which would be 266,000. Uh, you refinance into that 2.375. Your term is now not 360 months, but now it's 180 months, which is a 15 year uh, term. And your principal and interest payment is going to go to $1,758.05. That is an increase of uh, $464.90 per month uh, in this scenario. Uh, your loan balance in September 2025 is going to be, in five years, is going to be $44,000 less than it would be than if you stayed with your current mortgage. In 10 years, your loan balance would be $97,000 roughly less than what it would be if you stayed in your current mortgage. And your loan balance in um, 15 years would be $151,000 less than what it would be um, in if you were to stay with your current mortgage. So even though your payment is going up $464.90 per month, you are making drastic, drastic uh, uh, gains on your in regard to building equity in your home. And the loan would be paid off on the 15 year fix uh, in August 2035, which would be 12 years faster than if you stayed where you are currently. And so that's the build equity faster with a shorter term. Um, it does require, obviously, in most cases, you're going to have to pay, uh, you know, more in your monthly payment. Um, it, but that is a great scenario for somebody who, who that is their goal. I just want to build equity faster. Now, before I go to the next slide, I, I want to, to give you kind of a scenario here. Um, what if I told you that um, all you have to do is to continue to make the same exact mortgage payment that you're making today, but that in five years, I'm going to give you roughly $14,000. In 10 years, I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going to go to the next slide so I can remember how much it is. I'm going to give you roughly $33,000. In 15 years, continue just to make your same payment that you've always made. You don't have to make any additional payment than you're already making right now. In 15 years, I would give you $51,000. What would you say? If you're anything like me, you'd probably say, sign me up. If it's legit, sign me up. Well, I want to offer you a scenario that, um, that, that is, is really one of my favorite um, refinance scenarios to talk to folks about. Um, sometimes, you know, saving money on their, a monthly payment is not that big of a deal to somebody. Um, and but increasing that monthly payment is a big deal to someone. So they're, they're kind of caught in between. But what if instead of, um, instead of just staying where you're at, continuing to make the, the payment that you're comfortable in, what if you refinance to a lower interest rate and it were to make, and, and to continue to make the same exact payment as you're making on your current mortgage, what would it do? Well, it would, it would do a lot, especially in this scenario. We've already looked on the left side of the screen. It's the same scenario we've been looking at. Let's look on the right side of the screen. We're, we're again refinancing it to a $266,000 loan amount, 2.375, same principal and interest payment, $1,033.82. But now we want to add to our monthly payment $259.33. That's actually going to make our monthly principal well, make our monthly payment the same as we we were currently paying now, which was twelve twelve hundred $1,293.15. What would that do? Well, in five years, September 2020, 20, September 2025, the uh, your 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 loan balance would be fourteen thousand seven hundred ninety one dollars less than it would be, and you're still making the same payment as you would be on your current mortgage. In uh, 10 years, your loan balance would be $33,702 less. In 15 years, your loan balance would be $51,835 less. By doing what? 
all by making the same exact payment as you would be making right now. In fact, your, your loan would be paid off um, five years faster by, by doing this in this particular scenario. And it would save you total over the life of the loan an estimated or roughly $80,000. By doing what? All by just maintaining the same mortgage payment that you are making now. You're refinancing into that lower rate. Um, you're not paying the minimum payment on, on that lower rate mortgage, but you're, you're, you're adding that $259.33 to your monthly payment, which would be exactly what you're paying on your current principal, um, on your current loan. So a uh, great scenario, great opportunity for lots of people to, uh, to really make great gains in building equity in their homes. The last scenario I want us to look at is um, to refinance to pay off other debts. Um, again, same scenario on the left side of the screen. I want you to see um, that when we come down to the second, uh, to the last bullet point on the left side of the screen, this is where we're, we're, we're going to, to look at something a little bit different. Let's ma imagine that in this scenario, somebody has a car loan, some credit card debt, a home equity line of credit, maybe a student loan, uh, all this other debt that they're, they're, they're making payments on on a monthly basis. And the, the entire balances of all those debts together are, are $75,000. And so they are, they are making their monthly debt load, what they're making uh, in regard to making every month in regard to their mortgage payment, their car loan payment, credit card payment, home equity line of credit payment, any other debts is a total of $1,993. $1, what a lot of folks will do, and, and a great opportunity for some folks, if you're if you really want to, to focus on, I really want to get my monthly payments on all of my debt lower. Well, this is a great option you can potentially refinance if you have enough equity in your home. You can potentially refinance to include that, uh, those loan balances of those other debts. And so in this case, $75,000 added to your loan balance as of September, 2020, and then we'll add closing costs onto that for a refinance loan amount on the right side of your screen of $341,000. Uh, interest rates are a little bit higher whenever you're taking additional equity out of your home. So let's let's just say that the, that the interest rate for this scenario is 2.625 on a 30-year fixed. Uh, that would make your monthly principal and interest payment $1,369.63. And so you are saving every single month um, $623.37. Uh, in comparison to what you would do if you were just stayed right where you're at. And so if that is, I mean, that can make a significant change in somebody, somebody's life who's, especially somebody who's on a limited income. And so that is a, 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 a the last scenario that we wanted to look at is does refinancing make sense, financial sense? And that may make financial sense for you. And so as we move on to the next slide, if you have any questions, I want to invite you to uh, submit those questions in the question bar that is on your screen, or uh, you can, on the next slide here, I have my contact information. Um, you can contact me at my phone number or I have my email address on the screen, crigs at afma.com. Uh, feel free to, to submit your questions there as, as well. But uh, I wanted to, to, to just lastly say, if, if refinancing is something that a you're interested in please contact me uh, would love to be able to to talk to you further about that um, if you have questions and maybe you want me to run the number some of the numbers on your specific mortgage uh, that i ran on, on on the examples on this webinar today i'd be happy to do that for you you know one of the things that we want to make sure is that uh, we're not in this just to 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 do mortgages we're in this to make sure that that mortgages uh, refinancing specifically makes sense for you, financial sense that it's going to benefit you. That's why that's why we exist, and uh, that is that is certainly our passion here at Afma Mortgage. Well, thank you guys so much for joining. It's been uh, great to to spend some time with you, and uh, look forward to hearing from uh, perhaps some of you soon.
Thank you so much, Corey, for that important presentation. You'll be able to access a recording of this webinar uh, this weekend. You'll get an email with a follow-up recording, and you can always access new webinars and old webinars, past webinars at afma.com slash webinars. Again, if you submitted a question, the question bar on your screen that Corey mentioned, we will be collecting those questions and we'll get back to you within a few business days. And of course, email Corey for any other questions that you may have if you think of one later. Thank you so much for joining us today and we look forward to serving you.